Hi, welcome to Pompey Talk Extra Time. I'm joined today by Neil Allen and Jorgen Cross. We're going to discuss a few of the unusual goings on <laughs> of maybe Plenty the of, those. Of, of, uh, of the January transfer window. Maybe let's start off with that. So we're, we're now into the uh, into the transfer window. Do you guys see much happening this this month in terms of what Pompey might it, do? He wants to sh ship players out first of all, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, he's looking for players to leave. Um, whether it be extending their loans. Who, who are we looking at? Who's well, extending their loans, an easy one would be um, Kyle. Kyle, Kyle Naismith. Sorry. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Uh, an easy one would be Kyle Naismith. So he's he's not part of the plans at the moment, is he? Well, he's, he's playing at, at, obvious, um, yeah. at Hartlepool, doing well there. They like to keep him. And then you look, you look at Pompey at the moment. The, the wingers are doing well, aren't they? Tollett's off the bench there. He's got so much, so much choice. Roberts is back from injury. Yeah. Can Naismith even get in the squad there? And Dunn's another one. Dunn's an obvious one. Do you expect um, either? You expect him to go permanently in Jan January? He won't January play for Pompey ever again. So I can't. I can't see it. I mean, he's been very polite, Paul Cook, isn't he, on the record yeah. anyway, and saying you know he's happy to out and you know for him to be out and stay out. The same with Carol Naismith. But obviously, it deals up in the summer, isn't it? We've done, and he's just not. He's not Paul Cook's type of player. Yeah. We've discussed that before, isn't he? Fans are going to question it, but you know, I think you've got to back the manager, and uh, if, he, if it's not his type of player, then. Then crack on and go and play football. Okay, those, those two probably not part of the plans at the <laughs> at the moment. Anyone else who's not in Tubbs, the squad? I mean, Tubbs. Is Tubbs the one. What do you think on Tubbs? Is he going to be gone? For me, I think Tubbs will go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. where does he go? That's a question. Yeah, it's, it's it's funny because a, a few weeks ago you thought, okay, who can you afford to let him to go to? Because let's not forget, he, his star hasn't diminished at all since he's been at Pompey. He's still scored goals. He's still done well. So there'll be so many clubs after him, but. For example, Bristol Rovers, he's, he's very pally with the Bristol Rovers manager. Mm. They're at Salisbury together. But Bristol Rovers now are right on Pompey's heels, aren't they? Yeah, you let him go to Bristol Rovers. I mean, there was talk of him going there, wasn't there? Yeah. Not too long ago. Mm. And uh, I mean, you would have thought there's every chance, but you've got to choose carefully. But also, if, if, hold on, if you don't rate the guy as part of good enough to get into your team, why, why does it matter where you are? You'd have him on the bench, go? though, wouldn't you? I think you would. I think he's a goal scorer. Yeah. We've, seen, we've said many times over the... But, but, but if you're looking for a goal, especially if you pick up an injury or two, having Tubbs even on the bench to come on for 20 minutes, chasing the game. How many players do you need as well, though? Obviously, you, you've got McNulty, you, you've got Labour, you've got Gary Roberts coming back. Um, ben, I, know, I know Tubbs is a different player as, as an out and out striker, but you've got a lot of attacking... Mm. Options there. I don't know. Maybe you've got to work around budgets as well, haven't you? Maybe they've sort of looked at getting people in and like that. If he's look, been looking to shift him off somewhere down the line as well, um, he's still figure be about what happens with, with his contract, wouldn't it? Well, yes, yeah, because he's still contracted. So for another season after this, so uh, would you loan him out to the end of the season and evaluate it then? Would you? Um, would you? You sell him? How, I mean, how can other clubs in the division afford to buy? Matt yeah, probably, not, probably not, can they? There's, that, not, that. there's not many. Well, he was, we were discussing this at the weekend, and apparently he was offered more money by Wimbledon. Yeah. Well, Pompey obviously offered a, a longer, longer term, yeah. didn't they? So uh, you could see him going back there. Couldn't you? That's a possibility. I mean, it's all kinds. But of that's again, that, that's just Lavery stays. Yeah. So yeah. he says the right things. Pompey saying the right things, but that's another week down the line about about his. Yeah, he's at like, the other, all the others, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So if he if he stays, Tubbs can go. But if he doesn't, do you then sort of look at it again? Yeah. Another one for you, goalkeeper. Mm. Yeah, that's still. Do you think he's, 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 there's been no definitive. Well, it has been definitive. That that he has said it was, you know, maybe four, three, four weeks ago. Yeah, the, now, manager. He, he, the manager did say he would be signing him in, in January, but it's kind of gone quiet on that one. You would, uh, I'm only playing devil's advocate, but wouldn't you, if you were that keen to get someone signed up for the second, you would have done it already, wouldn't you? If you were absolutely that, convinced. The, pro the problem is they've got so many goalkeepers on the books. They've got obviously Bass, who's a complete rookie at this level. Yeah. Um, he couldn't. Uh, Bogner decided not to take him on loan at the start of the season because he's not physically ready enough. Mm. So if they think that at the start of the season, why should we think that he's ready for Pompey in the first team? But anyway, uh, Paul Jones is going to be out for another few weeks, and he's not played since what October. Well, it was o Oxford. September. September. Oxford. September. Oxford. September. Yeah. September. Yeah. Oxford. Yes. Yeah. So so he's not played since then through injury, so he needed games before he even came back to challenge. Michael Polk. Has been at Eastley on loan. I think he's been on the bench recently, following injury, shoulder injury. Uh, but they seem to have not a lot of faith in him at all at Pompey. So he's on the books, so he's still registered to the end of the season. And then you've got Murphy, who, if they give him another deal to the end of the season or whatever, mm. that's four goalies in your books, isn't it? Um, and who's number one? Who's best? 
I mean, Jones is best, but he's not ready. I'm still not, con- I'm still not convinced by Murphy. That's no, the, that's no the... and Jones would have to come back in at a level. I think Pompey would probably just keep it the same, in, in all likelihood, and Murphy without. I, don't know, I did my assessments of the at half term last week, and he was probably one of the lowest, you know, in, mm. in terms of what he's done. I mean, there's, there's just been mistakes, isn't there? I mean, some, some costly ones as well, and. Um, yeah, I think certainly in terms of the Pompey fans as well, it's no secret that it's been a, a talking point that they're still to be convinced by, yeah. by his performances as well. We, we touched on it at the start, the top of the programme, the, uh, the unusual goings on of January transfer winners. It's a little bit different these days, isn't it? We, we, there's been times where we've been spread here, there, and everywhere trying to uh, cover yeah. what's going on at Pompey. I remember being sat at Eastleigh for several hours trying to find out if David James was, uh, was leaving one, one transfer window. You were sat outside Fratton Park. I don't know whether it was the same one or not. The transfer deadline day. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, we've been down. in cold car parks and <laughs> you know nooks and crannies of Fratton Park late at night. And uh, I don't miss those days, to be honest. Yeah, well, the Bajani one, day. which Harry talks about. He talked about that the weekend, didn't he? Yeah, I saw that he was, he was talking about that. It was the famous one where you tried to offload him for desperately <laughs> offload him for nine million, wasn't it? They're well, trying to get rid of him to get devoted. Defoe, Defoe it, which yeah. was yeah, no one would argue with that one. Even though Defoe probably nowhere near as popular in the in, in Benjani in in the fans' eyes as well. But yeah, that was the one when I was I was sat down there and then I went off to try and get a McDonald's because I've been waiting at the uh, down down the Frogwell Road for far too long and then tried to turn the car over. Completely dead, as <laughs> dead as <until> now. <laughs> Stuck outside Fratton Park yeah, in a freezing that, car. That car was living on borrowed time for about it five will. years. To be fair. Uh, yeah, it was the Red Rocket, <laughs> mate. Don't you knock the Red Rocket? It cost me four hundred quid. That. But they, they were days when we weren't exactly welcome, were we, by the press office, yeah. and uh, they wouldn't help us out at all or do anything for us. They'd go out. They way, probably couldn't really break fluids as well. Get out, Jordan. Yeah, get in there. Uh, there would be an element of sneaking about, wouldn't there? Yeah. Trying not to be seen by, uh, yeah. by, by the club. Pe- well, right, easily yeah. peeking through the bushes yeah. I remember at one point and, uh, <laughs> and they got a big tarpaulin didn't they and put it across the bushes <laughs> so we couldn't look through them watch them train and see who's at training sessions and uh, yeah and all sorts it was a good fun in the way sort of very covert yeah. operations but uh, yeah these days it's a bit different isn't it so Dude, it, 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 I'm just trying to think something what wasn't Pe- didn't Pele come in January we had some real duffers turn no, up in January yeah that, that was the Tony Adams January wasn't it yeah. we wanted to bring in Yaya Torre and ended up with Hayden Mullins yeah he did same, yeah. was that that same window Pele and Gekas and, Gekas uh, was a January signing wasn't it Bassinas yeah. yeah. is he another one Bassinas yeah, yeah. They, all, they all they all came in the January didn't they? and Pele never played a game yeah apparently a chain smoker really uh, that's his com- com- uh, club car stinking of cigarettes <laughs> Another pro- hey, Prozanek is, is saluted for that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, t- was one, one final uh, mention perhaps is 2016, our first one of the new year. Mm-hmm. Are we still confident Pompey are going to go up this season? Yeah, I think, so I, think I am. Yeah, it's something we're going to explore in the paper, aren't we? We're doing our predictions in, in tomorrow's papers. and I think we're all in tandem and believing that Pompey are, are, are going to go up. Um, some debate about whether it would be promotion or as champions, but... It's a team, as, as I indicated in the previous Pompey talk, that's going to get stronger as the season goes on. There's a lot to be encouraged about. You just think that Pompey's got the best squad. And, and Paul Cook says he wouldn't swap his squad for anyone else's. And you can see quite why, can't you? It's uh, it's a team that's going to get better. It's got attacking options. I think with McNulty and Lavery in there now, there's a bit more going forward than there was earlier in the season. That really, that really gives you the optimism, really. There's, there's goals in that team. There's enough creativity to open sides up. If nothing more, it's rare that we all agree about something and... Uh on a Pompey matter, I suppose. Yeah, no, I, I still think Pompey can win the league. So I think yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the three teams above them, they haven't beat Pompey, and they've all got to visit Fratton Park. Mm. And Pompey, Pompey this season have rarely looked like they've lost three games, but in those games, were they comfortably outbeaten? No, no they I don't weren't. think they, they were. I mean, Exeter, they kept knocking the door, didn't they? Yeah. Notts so. County, they're unfortunate. And, and on the late Orient one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pompey, they've been dominating nearly every game they've played. Yeah. And that's because it's a really good point that from there, wasn't it? The teams have all got to come to Fratton Park as well. And and when you see the best teams in the division, you think, you know, you went probably went to Plymouth and they're the top of you know, they they were they were much the better team that day as well. Oxford they they were, they were sort of lost their way at times but but were stronger and, and Northampton you guys were there, weren't they? Went and got a victory, so yeah, lots yeah. to be encouraged about. Bodes well for 2016, doesn't it? Well, the fact that we agree on something. Well, well, just well it doesn't matter you're, you're leaving soon, anyway. Just so. keep that quiet. Yeah, anyway, thanks for joining us today. It's, uh, it's, uh, my name's been Steve Wilson. This is Jordan Cross. This is Neil Allen. In partnership with Giant Leap. <laughs> Join us again soon. Thanks. <laughs>